From Daily Forex, this is Chris Lewis looking at the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100. You can see the S&P 500 initially fell during the trading session on Thursday, uh, finding 2800 to be supportive enough to turn around and form a hammer. Interesting day because uh, banks fell, but smaller companies in the U.S. rallied. So what's that tell you? That tells you that money is running to the United States. So uh, multinationals might be losing a little bit of steam, and that might have been what the pullback was initially. Now, from a technical analysis standpoint, I think this cluster here needs to be overcome at 2825. So we can go to 2880, 2900, then 30,000. I think there is more than enough support underneath to keep this market afloat on pullbacks. The NASDAQ 100 has pulled back a bit from the 7400 level. I think there's massive support at 73 and then 7200. Uh, 50 EMA and 7000 I think is the floor of the uptrend. So really at this point, this is a buy the dip market as well. No interest in shorting either one.